Alright, and we're live here. Dropped in on time. Um, we are at reserve. We're in the southwestern corner. What I've found is that a lot of times when you're running solo, is you're gonna get this spawn. It's kind of weird because uh, just noticing playing with teams. And by the way, I'm checking left here and checking right for possible runners while keeping in mind that we could be running up on boss squad inside south or west pond. But so far, so good. Uh, but anyway, I've noticed a lot of times when I'm playing with squads, I end up on the eastern side of the map. And I will say, I just kind of thought about started starting to do this. Instead of going up one flight, like I just did here, and then crossing the wood, if I crossed on the lower half, I wouldn't be walking on wood and making all that noise. Something to keep in mind. Also, my pants switched. Anyone else running into this? I was not wearing this, those when I came in here. I've recently been doing my hideout, so um, I can actually use this to make some M61, those helixes. Look for a flash drive, not there. What's that? Oh, LCD. Uh, I'll just put these in there for now. Bold. Actually, I'm pretty sure bolds are like 20k. Anyway, instead of going across there and walking on wood being really loud, I think it's quieter to do this. Because then it could sound like you're outside right here. Anyway, I am in South Pond, for those who don't know. And this is the Hilo Courtyard, because there's two courtyards that we usually use for our car lots on my teams. So this is the Hilo Courtyard, hence massive Hilo. And now we're in West Pond, in the basement. We're going to go for the RBBK marked room. This one is typically better, in my opinion, based on other loot that I've had before. But we're going to pit stop here first at the RBTB room. Grab some AKs. A lot of times you'll find suppressors. This has a uh, weapon spawn right there. It's the AK Magpole. Check up top. And we are at the RBBK room. So we got some Iridium. I Am I hearing someone? Oh, and a key tool. It's a nice 560k. Don't really have room for that gun. I feel like I'm hearing someone. So I'll just keep creeping around really quick. Checking over here for gold chains. Uh, okay, what we can do here. Gonna take this one, fold it. Pick this one back up. And I think that's about everything. Usually it's a tech item. There's uh, loose ammo. There's a, usually a weapon, up to three. And some sort of a container. So, like for me, the key tool. But weapons cases are pretty common. And that's why I actually bring the Burkut or the scav backpack because it is a five slot the mbss would be too small and like anything smaller than that to fit the weapons case and that's literally the only reason if you're going to hit the rbbk room you need to bring that just on the off chance that you're going to go to weapons case i did one in my last video and i actually got two weapons cases two raids in a row so definitely pays off to bring in an extra 20k backpack for the potential to bring out 1.3 mil in one item. Uh, but anyway, what we're doing is we're heading up the western path towards Dome. 
Um, and I've brought in my paracord and red rebel pickaxe. The paracord goes for about 150, and the red rebel I think hovers in between two and three mil. It's pretty expensive, but you do this route a couple times, and like in, for instance, when I got two weapons cases in a row, you've already paid for your red rebel. So from then on, it's just profit. Uh, but it is just the easiest way to get out of this map, in my opinion. And definitely the most covered. Uh, but what we're going to do here is we're hitting the RBKPRL room. Just on the way out. It's a nice little top-off if it's not been hit yet. Which it has not. We've got a little lockbox up top here. That can spawn rare items. Like that GP, that's great. You get a weapons case. Um, I think I think the ADAR is more. I'm not sure though. Uh, you've got another safe. Just rubles this time. I don't think anything spawns in there as of yet, and no keys spawn as of yet. But. There is potential for the future for uh, another patch. Another safe in this one. This one does not require a key. It's a great little room, um, especially when you're just getting started without much cash. Because you've got a safe right there. You've got a computer terminal. This can spawn a gun. And up here is a big one. RB A K key can spawn. That was the first room that we hit. Always checking there for some optics. I found a suppressors in there and stuff. Um, and then at this point we can bounce. So unfortunately we didn't see anyone on this route. A lot of times you will on that western path. Oh, I thought I heard someone. A lot of times you will on that western path uh, when you're coming back up from RBBK and a lot of times when you're hitting RBBK. People will be um, camp in the room waiting for you to like hear the turn of the key sound because it's super loud and then they'll rush down and try and rush you that's why you can when you're turning the key you can look back and fire back not going to be near as accurate as them but it's still worth a shot um, yeah see I didn't go in there with these pants and if anyone knows I don't know what that bug is but that'd be nice to not change pants every single raid and then not have them go in. I don't know what's going on. Uh, but overall, pretty good raid. Key tool um, is always nice. Graphics card. So let's go ahead and pull everything out of the sick. And I think that is everything. We didn't fire a shot at all, but we didn't even fire one with our pistol, so we don't have to reload that, which is nice. We'll throw the graphics card up on the flea market really quick, because that typically will go for more. Jeez, someone is... That's a steal for that one. Uh, we'll keep going here because it looks like. Wow, okay. So let's put it up for like 285 just so we can sell. And then I think for the most part, everything else can go straight to therapist. I don't think these are worth anything. And actually, the key tool is going to be worth more going to therapists because I think it's only like 590 on the market. So if you take into account, just for time's sake, that one I can actually get more for. If anyone knows, actually, can you comment below? I do not know how to take out an item once you put it in. So, like for example, I just had to clear everything. It's not control for me, like holding down control to put everything in. Um, if you know, leave a comment down below. I would love to, because <laughs> I've seen people do it, but I, just like that. See, I don't know how to pull it out once it's in there. So we'll sell those off, and then I'm pretty sure that this thing goes for... I may actually keep it, because I'm in the process of upgrading all of my uh, hideout stuff and I'm pretty sure I'm going to need this in the future but it's will count like 30k towards the total 
put that in the junk box here. Okay, and graphics card just came through. Cool, so that was, um, and we'll add another 30K into that. Uh, we'll just round that up to 100. So that was 1.1 mil. Uh, pretty quick there in under 10 minutes. The rate itself was probably like seven or eight. And that was hitting South Pond, which we hit the RBAK room. And I'll show you the key here. So this is the RBAK where we got the graphics card. We then hit RBTV, uh, which was where we got the two AKs right before we went into RBBK, where we got the key tool. And then to top it off, we went to KPRL, which is where we got the GP um, and uh, the ADAR. So went through it in that order. That's typically how I run that route, especially when you get that southwestern uh, spawn on reserve. There's also a little bit closer one to the RBBK room. It's uh, completely west, just north of where we started. Um, that's a great one to start with RBBK. That way, if you get the weapons case, you can just scoot out right away. Um, but I always like, if I can, to hit this room just because of the the graphics card spawns. I've had up to three graphics cards there. Don't forget, um, you, you do need the paracord and the red roll pickaxe, as well as not wearing body armor on that route. Um, those are the requirements to use the cliff descent just uh, to the north of Dome. And like I said, that's just a really easy way to um, do that loot run and then get out without being seen a lot of times. Like we didn't, we weren't seen there, but um, just an overall safe exit as opposed to what a lot of people do is run a hatchet run. Sometimes they'll do the same route I did with hitting queen. I'll, I'll show that. I've done that in other videos, but I can show that in the next one. Um, and they don't use a backpack. But like I said, I like using the backpack because a weapons case fits right in there. And that's the, I know this is a thick one, but the regular weapons case fits as well. It's, it's the same uh, slot size. So, um, yeah, if you guys like this video and you want to see more, drop a like. Uh, appreciate the feedback in the comment section below, which you guys want to see in future videos. Um, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.